Okay, this one's about steam. When we water has this neat property that when you heat it up, it boils. Hmm. And it makes steam. It turns into a gas. That's what my little steam engine is doing in its own little way. Not twirling the thing like it's supposed to, but whatever. Uh, I used to run this a lot when I was a kid because I thought it was really cool. But that's a steam engine. Now we got a boiler sitting here. We got a piston steam engine there. And uh, a heat source. And off it goes. Steam was the first vapor we really used for power production. And it has certain attributes to it that nothing else has. Number one, it's common. Not always in the exact place it's supposed to be, but it's pretty common. Uh, and another thing it does, better than just about any other substance out there, when it changes from a liquid, let's say a cubic foot of water changed to steam, will be around 1,700 cubic feet at the same pressure. Now, that's a really large volume comparing liquid to gas. As an example, R12, one of the refrigerants we used to use all the time, one cubic foot of liquid R12, when it was turned into a gas at the same pressure, was about 10 cubic feet, not 1,700. So you can see that a very small amount of water would do an awful lot of work. You can also pressurize steam to very high pressures, 1,000 pounds to 100 pounds. Uh, this one probably has about two. So that says it so it doesn't blow up. Okay, these steam was the first thing that really powered uh, mechanical things. We used it to generate power, take steam, or take water, boil it into steam, pressurize it. It would run a steam engine, maybe like that. And then that steam engine rotation would operate a, uh, a generator, produce electrical power could actually just directly power a plant too. The town I lived in was everything was steam for a long, long time. My father and my grandfather both worked in steam because uh, there's a lot of forest around here. There's a lot of sawmills. There was uh, the biggest problem with uh, sawmills is the waste material, sawdust, chips, bark, Okay, even one of the big hotels downtown, uh, actually all the space heating was done with sawdust. They would heat boilers in the basement and they had radiators throughout the building. So steam was used for all kinds of things, still is used for all kinds of things. If we have a combustion power plant that uses natural gas, oil, coal, nuclear, it's all steam power. They use, not generally uh, pistons like this, they generally use uh, turbines, but it's still the same thing. So it has many uses. The most common usage you'll see around now, except for maybe power plants, is space heating. It's still used for space heating for a lot of applications. Sound like a berry, huh? Well, it didn't really have any berries, so though. Kind of. <laughs> anyway, maybe run out of water here too quick. But, so we use it to operate heating systems because here again, that 970 BTUs I talked about before, 
changing steam back into water. That can be used, and very small amounts of it would heat a lot of area. And of course, you can use it for processing vegetables or things like that, all sorts of things. Uh, so steam has been one of the biggest power producers we've had in this country, probably throughout the world. Uh, it is still very important for many things, but space heating is what we generally see it used for. If I wanted to space heat with water, water has a high specific heat, the highest, I could put water through a pipe to a radiator and I could heat a space with it. And it would work fine. But if I use steam, I can actually take advantage of the 970 BTUs per pound. And any superheat that's on the steam. So steam's going to be with us for a long time. We will be using it for many, many years more. And it's because of the properties of steam. That 970 BTUs, that's 1,700 cubic feet for one cubic foot, that the expansion from liquid to gas makes. In the next one, I'm going to talk a little bit more about water and steam using spacing, how we actually do it, what, uh, I won't give you all the parts, I don't even have most of the parts, but I'll, uh, I'll try to describe how steam is used in, uh, in space heat. That's the longest one.